Now even though this comes with an ash pan, I almost always will clear out any sort of burnable debris. I like having a nice clean fire pit. Um, like I said, this is pretty cool. I like having an actual ash pan um, underneath, catching hamburger grease, uh, you know, whatever it's gonna happen to be. Now the Life 2 product itself, we'll do some close-up shots for you. Um, some of the paint is starting to come off, but overall, uh, it's pretty well made. Just a laser cut steel and kind of a little puzzle piece that you get to put together. Um, again, if I put in a close up shot here, you'll see there's two different ways you can put this together. Uh, one is kind of a wider platform, um, which maybe we'll do this morning. Again, I'll do some close up shots here, but the bottom grate is a nice little feature. This stove really does have um, really good airflow. And then the grill itself isn't quite as big, especially when you're in this wider mode. So it still gives you access to feed your wood or move all your coals to one side. All right, now hopefully you can see the bottom grill again. Like I said, this has really good airflow and with the ash pan underneath it catches most of the items. Uh, multiple slots across the top for these little supports. And again, it's nice because if I put these three together, I can get a small pot or a pan on here. I don't have to worry about even using the grill. Um, we're gonna get this burned off anyway from the last time that we did some cooking. The other thing you can see is the cooking grill itself is not the same size as the grill. Um, at first I thought that was a little weird. Again, when you put it in narrow mode, so it's deeper but narrower, uh, it does fit a little bit better. But what I found is that also allows you to move this thing around. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll cook with this sideways mode. That allows me access to add more coals, move a lot of my coals out so that I'm not overcooking. I can adjust the temperature of what I'm cooking on here. And it's actually a really nice feature. Originally, I was like, well, that's weird. Why would they make the grill so small? But the more I use this, the more I realize it's actually pretty smart because you can move it to the side. You can still feed more wood in if you need to. Again, my most popular one is kind of to the side. So then I can kind of move my coals or my wood back and forth to allow and just for your cooking. guys we got lunch on I uh, got my trusty sidekick who's looking forward to a hot dog nice simple lunch in fact I didn't make a fire last night because her and I are just kind of in the middle of uh, a road trip again as it happens I generally take her with me when I can go lay down and uh, it's just nice we don't have to drive as big a lump and we kind of stop and I'm just making kind of a lazy late breakfast early lunch right now with hot dogs and uh, that we're gonna get on the road. Um, I slept in a little bit because we had some long miles to get last night. This review, as the title says, is the Life Do Grill. Uh, call it a fire pit, call it a grill, call it whatever you want. Uh, if you watch my channel for a long time, the Yuko Flat Pack Grill, I absolutely love and I still do, especially when it's just a couple of us. Just me and my wife or just me and the dog. Uh, it works great. What I struggled to do is with a family of five, I struggled to get everything I needed to cook on there. And so I was looking for something bigger. So when Life Do approached me, I kind of balked at it a little bit. I looked at it again and I said, yeah, you know what? I think I'll try it. Um, when you go find the links down below, you'll see that the price point for this is really good. So how can it be get that good for such a cheap price? Well, it's laser cut steel. It's a little jigsaw. You put it together. Uh, it doesn't fold out like the Yuko. You got to really kind of slide it together. Um, but it does a really nice job. I've cooked lump charcoal. 
uh, the standard briquettes, lots of fires on it. It has really good airflow. As you can see, there's no smoke right now, and we are filming right over the top. You might be getting some heat waves uh, over the camera, but you're not getting a lot of smoke, and that's to the testament of how good the airflow is with that bottom grate. It's nice to have the ability to run two sides on there. Now there's a couple of downsides. Let's talk about it. All right guys, now talking about cons is when you compare it to some of the other things out there, the bag for this isn't great. The way this packs up and stores, not great. Um, everything else I really like about it. Now it's hard to go from some sort of a wood charcoal open pit grill uh, without getting messy. Anytime you're dealing with that, you're going to need gloves. And this is no different. This, I always put gloves on to put this thing together. Otherwise, when I'm in camp, I just end up with old hamburger grease and old fire all over my hands. Um, the bag keeps it from getting everywhere in the truck, but it's pretty floppy. It's a nice bag. It's held up. Um, you know, the construction of it is good. But I feel like it's just sort of a, it happens to fit sort of a thing. And that's my biggest complaint. It's just, compared to other things that I use, um, it's just kind of a big open bag. Now, if I can find something else that will fit, this works great for all sorts of other stuff. And it does keep the truck clean. That's my biggest gripe about this package. All right, I think she's just about there. I'm gonna let the second set of sticks burn down. I'm gonna get the grill on there to help burn off the grease from last time. And uh, let's get some lunch started. Hey guys, well we're going to wrap that up. So we talked about some of the cons, there aren't many. Um, literally it's the, the, the carrying bag is kind of the pinpoint for me. Um, if they improved that or did something similar to the Yuko. Um, I love having the added room either to have the, enough for a family of five to cook on this thing or just have the room to, to move the hot coals over to the side and to simmer some stuff or to put a pot on the end of, of hot water to get ready for dishes or hot cocoa or coffee in the morning without it being directly over all the fire all the time. Uh, I believe the Yuko does come in a larger size. However, when these guys contacted me, this looked like a pretty cool product. Um, anytime you have any sort of a fire wood grill, um, you're going to have, and you cook over it, you're going to have issues with grease and it being sooty and dirty. Um, you know, it really depends if you're going to be on a really long trip. Um, the bag is nice to keep all your gear clean inside. Otherwise, you could clean it when you got home. You know, I don't usually clean this. I wait till it cools off. I knock all the coals off and the dust. I put it in the bag and we go to the next adventure. I wait till the next fire to kind of burn everything off. And that's just kind of how it's been. Um, for the price point, I think it's really cool. I'm not sure where the name Life Do comes from, but it's a really neat stove. Check out the links below and we're gonna go enjoy lunch. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you down the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media and we'll see you on the road.